Hello, my friends, esteemed colleagues. Uh, lately, we hear a lot in the media about how <clears throat> these things uh, have impacted people in a wrong way and uh, how it had uh, weakened their immune system. And because of the weakened immune system, the cancer has skyrocketed, autism is exploding, uh, and other so-called chronic diseases, all of a sudden, even in young kids, like myocarditis and sudden death, are occurring. Now, we have been told by our health experts, and the health experts have been drilled this into their brains during indoctrination system, that these things are absolutely necessary because we, have, we are in this toxic environment full of bacteria and germs, and then by receiving this, we will inc increase the immunity. So, this is why these experts now have kind of shifted slightly their opinion. Well, basically they say, well, these latest ones, they are very bad. You know, because they give them and people may croak right in front of them. But right away they said, well, but we are not anti this. Okay, because this is very beneficial for children. Well, since these things start happening, we have first, first, we have pulmonary problems like bronchitis, asthma, and little mental problems um, that were not very prominent. They are not displayed strong enough. And uh, at the beginning, they were not caught. It took a little bit, a little while before the, the, the doctors, the experts, cling on that something is wrong. Okay, that, you know, this is not functioning as it's supposed to be. So they have named it, named it dyslexia. You know, I, I was dyslexic, it's still slightly M. I mix letters, I write it. Uh, you may have all the letters in there, but not in the right place. And if spell check shows me, okay, this word is not correct, I look at it and I still don't see the thing. Okay, I have to have it written separately to, to compare letter by letter, I say, oh, yeah, well, this one is supposed to be here. Because my mind just sees it the way how I think it is, not the way how it actually is. And uh, more and more of these are uh, boosters for immunity. Children receive, the more problems they have, and we, we sit into autism. Okay, cancers are rampant, but later on, diabetes in children. It's chronic disease. How, how did the child get it? Well, because it was boosted. Now, immune system, it's a funny thing. How does immune system actually work here? Okay, so first, well, we see people are immune when they resist uh, diseases. So if you are not getting flu every year, your immune system is strong, okay? You are puffed up, beefed up, you are doing something right. Now, who basically skips getting flu symptoms during a flu season? 
Well, vegans, vegetarians, and we have this science that is teaching us, okay, how to strengthen the immune system. So let me show you what experts are saying about this, because this is how we are being indoctrinated, all right? So let's check it. Okay, so here we have it. How to strengthen the immune system. So focus on well-balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Okay, so here, include the healthy foods, citrus fruits, bell peppers, mushrooms, garlic, chicken soup, turmeric, ginger, okay, medicinal toxic plants. They are going to boost your immune system. Of course, then, exercise. Losing weight, maintain, maintain healthy weight. You are fed, your immune system is going to be down. This is what experts will tell you. Ask your doctor. Doctor is an expert. 007 agent with license. Okay? Get enough sleep, manage stress, those are okay. Avoid unhealthy habits. Now, quit smoking, of course, you are poisoning yourself. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water through the day to help your immune system function properly. Water. Where are minerals? Get immunized. Okay, right, right here you have it. Right here you have it. Okay? Well, but, but we don't have to go further. Okay, we don't have to listen to this. Okay, so for those of you that are familiar with my work, you right away, you must be laughing your boots off because <laughs> this is pure bullshit. Pure bullshit. It's nonsense. Now, these experts are in charge of your health. These experts' opinion is the only one that counts in front of the law. So if someone claims that you, you harm their health and sues you, you need one of those health experts for their expertise. And then what does a judge ask the health expert? Doctor, please tell us your opinion. Why don't you ask, tell us the truth? Because everybody and their grandmother knows that doctors know shit. They have no clue. They don't know diseases, why they came. They know symptoms. And they know how to deal with the symptom. But disease, how to heal it, how to prevent it, or, or what it is. I'm pointing through every of my videos lately. When I'm asked about specific disease, I'm pointing to the scientific literature and showing you the culprit unknown, but experts think. And always when it's culprit unknown, it's going to be, it's either autoimmune, or it's either genetic, because this is how they wash their hands off. It's body doing, or there's nothing we can do about it. You know, it's normal, it's, it's, it's nature. Crappy science, science. Now, this is why doctors constantly practice medicine. They gotta practice. They practice and practice and practice and practice and never reach the stage when they can say, okay, now I don't have to practice anymore. I know now I can actually heal. Well, they know how, no doctor knows how to heal, diddly squat. 
Okay, so <laughs> I'm doctor. <laughs> Sorry. But at least I woke up and I start observing and I was brave enough to take all this false knowledge and shove it where sun don't shine, separate from, from it, and start getting the truth out. So when we are talking about this boosting immunity and immune system, why are these people having problem with their immune system? Well, because the immune system is nothing what experts know that immune system is. It has nothing to do with immunoglobulins. And when they say they give you this, so your body gets natural resistance towards it. Well, how does body work? It adjusts to the environment. Whatever you put in your body, it affects the body's environment. So, doesn't matter if it comes this way, this way, uh, through absorption, through inhalation. If there is something different outside than what is in the body, it is going to change the body's environment when it comes into the body. This is why when we are eating raw stuff, we are not changing environment because that's how it is in the environment. But when we are cooking it, when we are processing it, we are changing it. The frequency shifts, and I mentioned every time color changes on a food or odor changes or texture changes, frequency have shifted because everything you see is just expression of frequencies through your robot for you to experience. So every time you take something from the nature and you do something with it and it's changed anything about it, you have changed its frequency. When you put it in a body, well, it changes environment because now it's a frequency that the, your environment doesn't have because your environment is same like environment outside. You put your hand over fire, the fire, the heat is going to start changing the frequency and all of a sudden your skin is going to start smell funny. It's going to start hurting. It's going to start changing color. Well, you are changing the frequency and through your senses it is going to be shown to you the way it is programmed to be shown that you are burning your flesh. It's a changed frequency. Now body, because of genetic structure, that's how it is created, so it is going to catch the frequency. And the gene that oscillates with this frequency is going to take over and start instructing your cellular structure how to change to accommodate itself so it can survive in this new environment. I've talked about it a long time ago that the welders that work um, uh, the, the boat builders, I heard it from a guy that, that was uh, uh, South African and he had a restaurant and he was having um, very often welders coming to his restaurant and then he heard them talking. And, you know, it's a very common for welders. You weld something, well, it is visible because it's uh, glowing, but the glow... Uh, rapidly disappears, but the place stays extremely hot. And if you forgot that you have welded there, and you're a little tired, you know, you take your gloves off and you this and put your hand up, 
And this right away, this, this will burn your skin. But instead of putting in a cold water and actually see the skin falling apart, if you immediately, as you have burned yourself, put it as close to the source of the heat as you can take. Your tears start coming out. This is how hot it is, but you just keep it there for about a minute. Genetically, the body goes in action and it starts showing the cells how to behave to withstand this environment. And when you move away your hand from this source of heat, no blisters, nothing has changed. Pain goes away, you are okay. You can try this, I tried it. I very often use this technique now, not only for uh, the uh, resistance towards the heat, but also uh, if uh, I have an insect bite that really itches like crazy. Or when I use pulsar and uh, my wrist starts itching because a lot of toxins come here, I put it as close to the heat as possible and I hold it there and you actually feel that the area which is affected starts itching more than anything else. Okay, your body starts adjusting to protect itself and then it protects itself also from other stuff. Same what Similar, actually, what you get with extreme cold. You know, when you watch the uh, videos from the Iceman, you, when he goes in a cold water, and actually his body shifts, and it starts producing heat. All the energy goes into heating the body, and he can swim in the North Pole like he's in, uh, French, on French Riviera. Wim Hof, no? Because you can train your body by exposing it to certain things to genetically shift. So, when you get any of these things, even toxic food, I said, you put little cyanide on the lip, you die. But you put little cyanide in a big uh, thing of soup, you mix it well, and then take one small teaspoon and lick it, nothing will happen. You may feel a little funny, but nothing will happen. Next day you can have a big spoon. Again, a little funny, but nothing happens. And you can progressively keep increasing. Within two weeks, you can put pure cyanide on your lip and nothing happens. It's not that you got immune bodies working that now are protecting you. Genetically, your body is getting extracted. How to survive in this environment? But same as it, it is with muscles. You lift heavy weight, muscle grow bigger. But once when you have a big body, like uh, Arnie, then if you don't exercise, it starts dripping, 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 and start disappearing. Now, luckily, there is a cellular memory. So once when you had certain uh, shape of a muscle, but same it is for any other adjustments that was on genetic level. So cyanide, uh, these things. What happened is that if this disappeared from your environment, after three weeks, the body goes back into its normal setting because it is not going to stay there unnecessarily supporting something that is not around. It adjusts back to the present environment. 
big muscle starts dripping. You don't exercise for three weeks. You will see your muscles slowly are starting to decrease. Your power will start to decrease. It takes, it takes three weeks. Well, same is with these things. After three weeks, bingo! Number one, there was no immunity. It was genetic adjustment. No immunoglobulins. This is all bullshit science. Don't trust chemistry. It's the biggest fraud. You want to know the true truth, you have to go to physics. Because there is less baloney there. Yes, there is some baloney, like electrons and nucleus of atom. This doesn't work this way. But those are minor things. You know. But in chemistry, you biochemistry, you can prove the contrary to be true. Because it's all made up. Nonsense. So, hi Muchki. Ah, my cat is bothering me. So, immunity, what we are being told, it's a crap science. It doesn't exist. Okay. It's adjustment on genetic level. If it comes slow enough, body has time to adjust. If it comes too quickly, body goes into close down until it can figure out what's going on and start adjusting. And when it goes in close down, you know, the squeezing, dirt falling off, closing membranes, and all I, I'm explaining on all the other videos. So, Machka, okay, here is my kitty, doesn't let me go. This is Guruchka, Guru. We call her Guru. We didn't know she was a girl. Lushitsky. Okay, so. I'm trying to show you that immune system has nothing to do with what we are being told. That all these things that we are getting are not doing anything else but creating awkward environment for body to adjust. And then if you are not exposed to these things frequently, the body falls out of adjustment. It can, much quicker in the future, zip into adjustment than otherwise because of cellular memory. But again, it will need some time. So you get exposed, you actually will have symptoms, but it can happen not that strong. The only problem is, the only problem here is that this is all lie about pathogens because pathogens do not cause diseases. It is poisons that cause diseases. And if you are taking cyanide and then you stop taking cyanide, body falls out of the adjustments, goes back, and cyanide being so toxic that after a while, let's say after three weeks or four weeks, you put drop of cyanide on your lip, you die because the body does not have time to go into memory and fix itself. Same is gonna happen now with any other toxin that your body receives that we blame pathogens to be cause of it. You know, we said blankets to Indians, or oh, there was virus on them, or there were bacteria, and then we gave it to them. Impossible. But what is most likely that there was a poison. poison that actually causes symptoms, then we blame on virus or bacteria later on. One of the most probable is white powder that was mailed 
to some of the senators a few years ago, and they died from it, being blamed on bacteria. Oh, it was anthrax. Oh, I don't remember anymore what bullshit story we got. No, most likely it was ricin or American version ricin. Very toxic stuff that is in a seed of some plants. Extremely toxic. You rub it, you put it on the skin. Skin rejects it. It bubbles up. Oh, virus. You see, this is, this is what happens with the virus. These bubbles, this, you know, it's... Hmm? No. No, it's not virus. It's not zumzula. It is toxin. <clears throat> so, if this is not immune system, well, how come that now these people are having so much cancer and autism exploding and all the other chronic diseases are exploding? Well, they've been poisoned. And they've been poisoned through these things. body was trying to get rid of the poison. This is why they, they have a pain. This is why they have a fever. This is why they have inflammations. This is all how body is letting you know that blood is toxic and it is try, body is trying to detoxify. But if you are low on plasma, you can do jiggly squat. You cannot do it. You have to be well hydrated. Now they say here, drink water. Drink water also doesn't help you because it's not electroconductive. It has to be turned into plasma. It has to be electroconductive. And we achieve it by putting salt in it, ions. So yes, drink water, but drink it with the sea salt. So this way, your body has enough plasma that it can part with some of it and go and cleanse. Very important thing. And we should be drinking a lot of plasma, not only for this purpose, but also because our body, bodies are shifted, shifting because frequency is rising. So bodies are adjusting. They need a lot of plasma because they have to eliminate what no longer serves them. And they have to build new things. For all this, you need plasma. It's all done through electricity. You need electroconductive environment. And every time you cleanse, you are losing plasma. You have to get it back. So, I mentioned many times, there is only one immune system, and this is voltage. Because higher the voltage, the more firm the cellular vibration is. And it is not going to shift under influence of other frequencies that we are exposed to, being it something we ate, like a cooked food that is completely different, or poisons, but also the EMF signaling. Why some people are very sensitive to electromagnetic waves, to telephones, they develop brain tumors very quickly, and some people are not. Well, if you have higher voltage, you are not going to be affected. Not as much, or not at all. If you have high enough voltage in your cells to resist the shifted frequency from outside, you are not going to shift. Your toxicity will not bother you. And when we are talking toxicity, those are out of tune frequencies. It's not only through food. It's electromagnetic. It's through light, wrong light. Uh, lo wrong sound, tuning. All these are frequencies being projected through our sensors towards out. You, you, we form the picture in our third eye. And then we use our eyes as reflectors to shoot out and reflect back to see what we have created. And we start living in this feel that, wow, 
look how beautiful nature is out there. It's not out there, it's in here. It's reflecting back from your eyes. This is how it works. You lose reflector. You cannot see. But if you practice, you can go into the third eye and you can actually see all the pictures, everything is created right in the third eye. You don't need eyes. And now you have people practicing this. We should all know this. Samurais knew it. They can shoot in the dark and get a target. They use the third eye. You don't need this. You don't need the reflector. Again, a lot of stuff that people who are not familiar with this are going to say, ah, bullshit, what is he talking about? Everything is different from what we know. Everything, 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 everything. And, you know, we are waking up to this slowly. So, when you want to talk about immunity, talk about voltage. Eat correctly, but not what you are being told, because what you are being told is contrary to the truth. Okay? Let's go back into the diet here, dietary recommendations, okay? Chicken soup, turmeric, ginger, okay, but somewhere I read Yeah, they eat, say, eat vegetables and lean meat. Which means, they say healthy fats, but eat lean meat. Which means, eat animal protein, but don't eat animal fats. Eat plant fats. Soyans, pure soyans. Well, what we need is actually the animal fat with animal-based vitamins in it, A, D, E, and K. It's all there. It's all in the fat of animals. This is what we are supposed to eat. And we are supposed to eat it raw. And we are supposed to eat the meat raw, so we are not shifting the frequency. When we eat according to science, their bologna pyramid, which is upside down, then we actually poison the body, we dehydrate it. Remember, they say no salt. And when cells are dehydrated, they cannot cleanse, they become acidic. When they are acidic, they cannot hold electric charge. Bingo! No electric charge. Very unstable frequency that can easily be affected. And what draws the power the most out of the cells is a brain in fear. When we are in a fear. And why are we kept in fear all the time? Why are we being told Third world war is glooming. It's going to happen any minute. Um, nuclear weapons are going to fly. Well, it's a possibility, but it's not, going to, it's not what is going to happen. And people say, well, stop talking about uh, this, you know, thing. And stop talking about Trump. And stop talking about Trump. Yeah, Oh, we have to get up and we have to fight. Well, whom are you seeing getting up and fighting? You are seeing the protests which are completely contrary. And you hear your politicians still talking about pro-people that we are actually not allowed to mention. No, they call them Semites. Why not? Because everything that comes out from their mouth is lie. Everything. Like how powerful they are. How invincible army they have. They conquered. They conquered Doodle Squad by themselves. They were all, it was all orchestrated. So... 
things are different. We cannot be in fear because this completely robs you of energy. And when you are in a fear, this is when all these herpes, all these shingles, all these problems occur. When you're in a fear because your voltage is almost non-existent, this is where cancer grows. When voltage drops below 0 0.7 volts, pro proliferation occurs. That's how body is designed. And unstoppable proliferation creates a mass growing, we call cancer. You can be toxic as hell, don't change anything. If you can raise voltage of your cells, the cancer vanishes. I talk about it often. So. Again, everything contrary to everything we are being told. We have to wake up. So nobody, nobody's immune system is being lowered by these things. They have all these diseases occurring because they have been poisoned. There is no shedding protein going on. It's the poison is the frequency that the body creates to deal with the poison. And then the frequency, if other human comes close to this auric field that vibrates with the frequency, can be affected by it and can exhibit the same symptoms. And this is how women adjust their menstrual cycle. So in the same office, women will have menstruation at the same time. Because it's a vibration that they send out, and other women will re start resonating with the same vibration, and the same actual cycle is going to start occur. We all influence each other on in close proximity because of the vibration. This is why in a family you have the same diseases occurring. We say genetic. Yeah, genes adjust to the frequency. So if your family is vibrating a certain way and they have certain diseases, well, you go to that family and you are, you are part of the family with them all the time, you start vibrating the same way. But same was going to be if a guest come and becomes a part of the family and starts living in prox close proximity, will start also being affected by it. Now the difference is if the individual continues eating different way and behaving in different way, then this environment is not going to be as effective because his voltage is going to be higher. It's going to be different. It's all about, as Dr. Uh, Dr. as Nikola Tesla said, it's about magnetism, electricity, voltage, vibration, physics, zero chemistry. Don't look at chemistry. Almost daily I'm being presented, look, but turmeric does this and this and this, and chemically it involves this and oxidation, antioxidant, antioxidant oxidation, this is invented science. It's not true. Every antioxidant is actually toxic and does not protect you in any other way than closes your cells. And your cells cannot cleanse, and this is why you don't have flu. It is not because you are resistant now, you are resilient, your immune system is high. No. You are so toxic that cells are crunched and they don't expel their toxins. There is nothing to clean. Blood is toxic, but not in the level to detox so that will need to go into a vibration of cleansing. Again, I explain all this mechanism, how it works with hydration and the necessity to cleanse. So check my other videos. Just keep in mind, 
that we are being led with bullshit artists. We are listening to bullshit artists. And we have obeyed the bullshit science. If we don't obey the bullshit science, we are being called heretics, scientific idiots, charlatans. No, we know the science. We just ignore science. Okay, thank you for listening to my rant. Till next time, I love you all. God bless you. Namaste.